I am a criminologist, psychologist and an ex-lawyer. I'll be speaking to some disgusting serial killers to figure out how this all happened. When murderers kill. Today, for the first time ever, we're having an exclusive interview with a man that's been called the Mr. Bean Killer, prolific serial killer. Thank you for talking to us today. I, I never killed anyone, man. You did, you killed apparently six, six, over 60 people, which is really... No, yeah, okay, this is all a huge misunderstanding. They were accidental deaths. Every one of them was an accident. I, I've never killed anyone. I've never killed anyone. And I, I, I resent being called the Mr. Bean Killer because I, I don't like Mr. Bean. They call me the Mr. Bean Killer because people die in unusual ways. I'm just trying to live my life, man. Sick, man. You plan it all out. Okay, here, you tell me who is to blame for this. It's Christmas Day. I'm cooking a turkey, mm -hmm. okay? I go into the oven to get out the turkey and my head gets stuck inside the turkey, right? This happens to lots of people. I'm, I'm wandering around blindly with this turkey on my head and I shoot 15 people. It's an act of God. You had a gun at the... I don't know where I got the gun. I just, I was grabbing around for stuff. I must have wandered into a gun shop. But the point is, that's a simple mistake that could have happened to anyone. It doesn't. And I don't matter, think it? I deserve Do to be in jail. Oh, for God's sakes. So, on that occasion, the jury did actually side with you, and they said that that was an accident, and that was because it was so funny. Yeah, they they saw sense. They saw that this was just an accident that could happen to anyone. Another time, um, I was late for work, and uh, I was in my pajamas. So I was getting changed into um, my my work clothes while I was driving. I was brushing my teeth in the back seat while I was driving. In the back seat. I had to get into the back seat to, to change, and I was putting my feet up, and I was on the steering wheel, you know, and I, I ran into a school. Mm. And that could happen to anyone. But it doesn't. No. You know, it keeps happening again and again. And the juries keep I mean, thank, finding it... Thank God for the juries that they find it so funny, because... I can't... <sighs> the courtroom is just full of laughter every time. And there's victims' families there laughing as well. Talk me through some of these victims like this man. Oh. I was going swimming. I like to keep fit. Um, and I saw that they had a diving board. And I thought, you know, I'm going to give this a go. So I climbed up to the top of the diving board. I was very scared. And I, I, I got the courage and I jumped into the pool. And uh, when I came to the surface, I, I realized my um, swimming trunks had come off. Um, it happens. And that also killed that man. How did, how did that happen? Uh, he was aqua jogging underneath me. So, I mean, I guess that's, I mean, that is, that is down to pool management. You jumped on a man and broke his neck. <clears throat> yeah. So that was very funny because you were naked. Do you not feel bad that everyone always laughs when it happens? I don't think it's funny. I think it's tragic. I just don't think it's my fault. It was your next <clears throat> murder that got you caught though. <sighs> no, stop, 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 stop saying murder, okay? Next, misadventure. Mans you think it's manslaughter? I was moving house and I was trying to pack everything. I have a little yellow car. It doesn't fit very much. I packed it full of stuff. Um, I ended up putting my armchair on the roof and tying it with ropes. Um, and it was only once I put everything in the car that I realized I can't fit in the car to drive it. So I engineered uh, a way to drive the car by sitting on the armchair on top of the car and pulling ropes. And it was working quite well, thank you. Um, until I crashed into that school again. Same school? Yeah. Uh, all the kids I didn't get the first time, I, I got them this time. Uh, that's the one they did get you for, because even though that is very funny, that, that jury didn't like comedy. No, they didn't not, like the it's not comedy running fans. over the same material, I think. Yeah. What would you rather be called? I just, I don't want to be called anything murderer. I want to be called unlucky guy. But you could see why they call you the Mr. Bean Killer. It's all quite silly. Yeah, I mean, I can see the connection. I just don't think it's correct. But you did also kill Rowan Atkinson, who is Mr. 
Yeah, okay. I did also kill Rowan Atkinson, <clears throat> but I don't think that qualifies me to be called the Mr. Bean murderer. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I did feel bad about Rowan Atkinson. Oh, really? I really liked him in Love Actually. What is he doing that? He's, uh, oh, the necklace. Yeah. Yeah. Very annoying scene. No, great scene. Are you kidding? Yeah. I, that happens to me all the time. What does? Oh, just trying to get a, a necklace for my, um, my secretary um, and cheat on my wife. And the cashier is always taking forever. And my wife's coming up and I'm like, hurry up, hurry up. So I end up, you know, I mean, killing him. That's not what happens in Love Actually. It happens to me. So, <clears throat> this has continued happening somehow, where they were supposed to execute you twice, two different ways. Yeah. First time firing squad. Yeah. One of the guns backfired. Yeah, see? Not my fault. Killed the man, he fell, everyone, everyone all they the fell other soldiers. In a, in a, you know, they fell in a, you know, admittedly quite comical domino sort of effect. Everyone laughed. Yeah, there was a lot of laughter, mm. um, and when all and the applause. bullets finally stopped firing, I was the only, there was yeah. like a perfect outline of bullets around mm. my body, um, but I was still alive. Did you mean to do any of that? that? I didn't do anything. They were trying to kill me. If they can't do it, I'm sorry, but maybe they need to pick a better job. Yeah. Well, they're all dead now, so. Yeah. The second time it happened, you were going to face the electric chair. Yeah, I was not looking forward to that. No. But they, somehow, your chair was the only one in the building that no electricity came out. Everyone else was... Full of electricity. Unfortunately yeah. electrocuted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Including, I mean, again. including all the victims' families that were there to watch the... Yeah, sorry about it. Um, and again, not my fault. I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm just sitting there being like, mm. let's get this party started. But, um... So now they are going to execute you. And they're talking about how to do it in a way that won't become comical. Yeah, they're going to shoot me into space, which they've assured me can't go wrong. Uh, all I'm saying is, me, in a rocket ship, lots of buttons, you're asking for trouble. I don't think you're going to be driving it. Well, I don't. no? You, they're just no? going to put you in a thing and shoot you into... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're mm -hmm. going to put me in, in one of Elon Musk's rockets and, mm -hmm. and just fire me. Yeah. into space. Do you feel any remorse for any of this? You know, when I think about it, no. I wouldn't have done anything differently. But wouldn't you have been more careful so the person didn't die? Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably, actually, yeah. But, you know, I just think no regrets. I'm going to space! <laughs> right. Do you want to apologise to the victims' families? And, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry if anything I've done has made you feel like I killed your loved ones. I also, I did kill someone on the way in here. What? By accident. Who? I was walking, I just thought I should say, because we're getting off, uh, there was a guy by the vending machine and he was trying to get a Coke can out and I bent down to help him and, and the Coke can just- Who let you were supposed to be handcuffed? Fired into his head. So I just wanted to say sorry about that as well. Why were you left alone? It was like a split second. The guard turned his back for a second and... And you ran one. off to... And a man's head, what? It, the can went through oh, his head? Oh, through the head, yeah. So sorry to his family now. I'm sorry to his family. Yeah, I'm sorry. The one who just died. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, get him out of here. This has been nice. No, you're going to die no. soon. Now, finally, in space. Okay, well... Because Earth's too good. Good luck with your show. Thanks. I wouldn't touch him. It's very... It's... Oh, I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> oh, not my fault. You saw... Oh my god. I'm so sorry, man. Horrible.